That sounds like a tragic like, disaster. Was... I was almost making a dance routine in line. Like I literally need a special handicap pass to like go in front. I thought I would be happy with no sleep here. Valet, Valet me. me. Just take me. Oh my god, I'm so dizzy and nauseous. Oh no. <laughs> dance routines in line. Oh, 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 oh my god, not me crashing into people. <laughs> Basically, it's literally 7 a.m. and we haven't slept. Like, we literally have not slept one bit. We can't stop talking. Like, two people in one bed that are like literally procrastinate sleep and don't stop chattering. Like, oh my god. We literally, we have not slept and we're thinking of going to get croissants downstairs so that we can like eat some croissants and then go to sleep. But the thing is, if we go get croissants, it'll be 8.30 by the time we're back and then we'll sleep. We have a reservation at 1.30 so we'll sleep from also, I don't want to waste a single day. Like, I don't want to waste a, a single, single second. I mean, a single second in Nicholas, Paris. Like, oh my god, the cloud is because moving. Because today is Sunday morning. Like, it's Sunday morning right now, and our like flights take off on Monday morning. So we are not wasting any time. Like, I feel like I haven't had enough time to do what I want to do this trip. So not a second is being wasted. Not a coffee is a, a coffee th that is not going to be had will will not be had. I don't even know what I'm saying. Wasted. Yeah, not a croissant will be wasted. So like, I do not want to sleep through the day. So what was like should we just stay up all night then we were like no we have to sleep at least four hours then we were like i can't sleep like we keep trying to turn around being like okay actually sleep come on and then we keep being like we can't sleep so i've been thinking we go get a croissant this is a tragic disaster. and then we come back up and we sleep for four hours and we cancel the reservation at 1 30. but then what are we gonna do start the day at 2 p.m in paris that sounds like a tragic like disaster if it was summertime if it was summertime we would totally be dead to do that because obviously we'd have more daylight but because it gets dark early now. That's why we don't think that's a good idea. But at the same time, we I are going to have a lot of time. I would rather not sleep than like not get to experience Paris during the daytime again. <laughs> Like, I would rather, like, start shaking and, like, not sleep. <laughs> what time does it get dark out Like, I can't like do Like, 5 that. p.m.? Like, 6. I can't waste a day. Like, I can't, like, not have my coffee this morning. Like, I have to go back if to the same coffee, coffee shop. you have a coffee right now, you're gonna be, like, literally Townsend. <laughs> oh my god, but imagine the day that we could have we don't sleep. Imagine we go to Lottery right now, we go get croissants, we come back here, we get ready, and we just chill, and then at 11 a.m., right when the Italian restaurant opens, we go have Italian food. But when are we gonna sleep for four hours? And then we go walk around. We don't sleep. We keep walking around. <laughs> we enjoy the city. This then is so bad. we can go to Lulu for dessert. We can use our reservation for dessert. <laughs> and then we'll have so much time if we don't sleep. We'll be able to get like ten meals in a day. We'll be we'll be able to cover all and the restaurants. And then we won't be sleeping for forty eight hours. And then we could go to the Christmas fair. And then we could do that before dinner. And then go to dinner at seven o'clock. Well, you've got too much energy right now. And anyways. Then... <laughs> like this girl is not about to. Lay back down i've tried i'm like laying down and she's like ready to explore the city <laughs> so honestly it's probably time for us to get ready Help i think begin. it's time for us to get ready like you can't waste time in paris you could sleep in london for six days you could go into a whole hibernation that's what i'm gonna be doing but like you cannot sleep now like it is not the time <laughs> Like, I will eat a croissant and, oh my god, why is my throat feeling weird? I need some, like, water. God, I just stepped on my computer. How fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Guys, leave a comment down below if Nicola should see the doctor when she goes back to Los Angeles. I actually am, like, nauseous right now, but it's because I haven't slept. Oh, oh my god, I think we're sick from no sleeping. My no, throats are, like... Sick. I'm just coughing. <laughs> my throat oh, my is, like, dried me. out, I think, because, like, we haven't slept. <laughs> Jasmine thinks we need to sleep. Why are we coughing? I need to cry. The thing is, like, don't you want to, like, see me fall off the escalator in Monoprix again? Like, wouldn't no. you rather see that than, like, see the pillow? No, I'd rather go to bed. I would rather, like, go get a coffee and go shopping in Monoprix and buy some skincare. Like, I would rather hit five restaurants in one day because I have the time because I woke up at, like, 6 a.m. I have so much I want to do all in one day. She's so ready. I'm like, this five restaurants day. in one day. <laughs> Never done before. Oh, my God. Let me start. Start, like dancing. Rise and shine. <laughs> I need energy. to get a croissant from okay. Monterey. Well, how about we go for the croissant and hopefully that like walk, like actually like, cause you got way more energy than me. 
honestly, if it wasn't our last day, I'd be so down to like do some crazy shit. But because it's literally like our last day, I just want to sleep. Because it's our last day, you want to sleep? No, I want to sleep. How then we can enjoy the last day? Because I don't feel like I'll be able to enjoy it. Probably. Shoot, that's true. Like, will I really like? If I don't get <laughs> sleep, like, will I want to like do my makeup and get ready? Like, probably not. Like, I'll want to like go like roughing it through the day. I think we need to get a croissant. But what if we get the croissant and we come back and we sleep till 3 p.m.? That would be ultimate disaster. Like, this is like, world is over. Like, the day in Paris is gone. Like, <laughs> this is literally a tragic disaster. Like, this is nothing but a tragic disaster. Let's go get the croissants. Okay, we're going to get croissants. We just are. Like, it's just happening at this point. Like, we couldn't sleep. And the goal is to get croissants and then go back upstairs and sleep for a little bit. Because I was just like, I want to wake up today and feel pretty and feel rested and get ready and look cute. And like, I feel like it's kind of hard to do that when you didn't sleep. So we're going to see. But also, I could so, like, just go out right now and be happy. Like, I don't know what to do. Oh my god, the arc. I love Paris at this time of day when it's like so quiet, like beyond quiet. <laughs> Literally, we're standing in the middle of the road. Go, 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 cross, cross. It's so pretty. Oh my God, you guys can't see it because of the light. Oh wait, can you see it? Like the restaurant is closed right now for renovation so they have this cute little like pastry shop oh my god i love it i feel one with the pigeons right now i'll feed you some croissants soon don't worry oh my god i literally think i'm gonna go all out with sweets right now like i can't do anything else but this like i just must oh my god guys they have like a yuzu passion fruit croissant and then this is really cool because it's like strawberry candy like marshmallow flavored i want to try this because they don't have it in america but like low-key i kind of just want to get a meal food oh my god i don't know oh my god coconut <gasps> raspberry Okay, we got two hot chocolates from Lottery and I got two croissants. She got one croissant. I was gonna go all out with pastries, but I was just like, that is a recipe for a disaster. Like that is a recipe for like morning sickness. Literally, like I keep making myself sick by like eating so many pastries and like no more. This chocolate is not even hot, to be honest. It's warm chocolate, I guess. I guess we're gonna try to go back to the room and see if we can sleep. It's giving no sleep. Bus. I need to, like, do club. Some Another club. Back to the bus. Okay, so we're going to bed. At last, it is 8:45 in plan the morning. Is to yeah, the new plan is to wake up at 12. I have to reset my alarm yeah, right she now. She has to before we're awake at half 11. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, we're gonna wake up at 12 and get on with the day. Like lack of sleep, but like vacation grind. I don't want to waste any time here. Okay, we're gonna go to bed. Good night, guys. I am so half asleep right now in the park. Whatever sleep I had was not enough. I retract the statement that I made at 6 a.m. I don't want to be in a park in Paris. I, I don't, I do care if I'm sleepy, even in a park in Paris. The pressure is on. I thought I would be happy with no sleep here. What's the point of life if I'm tired and I have no sleep? What's the point of anything? I'm trying to wake myself up. Do it up. Yes. Babe, 10 more. 10, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes, Chanel boots. It's 9, 10. I feel like it's all <laughs> Oh my friends. god, I'm so dizzy and nauseous. Oh no. Oh, oh my god, I retract <laughs> all of the statements at, from 6 a.m. I'm so dizzy. <laughs> I need to go take a nappy nappy on the park bench in Champs-Élysées. I think I need a coffee. I don't even know if that can fix me at this point. Je <laughs> Wake up, Nicolas. <laughs> <laughs> no time to be asleep. No time. There's no time to There's waste not. time. There's not. Now is your be time. Tired. I could be tired on the flight home. Literally. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my god, maybe I should do this spinny roller coaster to wake myself up and possibly push myself into death. Nicolette, don't go true there. No, right. No. <laughs> She's sleepwalking on the streets of Paris.
I don't know if I should even get a coffee. Like, I want to sleep at 8 p.m. <laughs> oh my sleep? god, that move to not sleep, like, to sleep so late last night, like, that was not in favor of our future selves. Like, that was, like, self-sabotage, like, majorly. But, like, we really tried to sleep when we couldn't. Valet me. Just take me. Oh my god, those pink bags are so cute though. Those ones right there. Oh my god, taking a picture so I remember. I wanted to go back and get the bag today, but I don't want the memories of buying the bag to be me sleeping on the floor. Oh my god. Cheers. Anti-fucky gay. At this point, I put my faith into what can fix all. Nature's mildly processed painkiller. A double shot of espresso. I waited for the caffeine to hit, but I only grew dizzier, and my passion for the city started to disappear to dust, little particles dissipating into the dirt on the floor of the park, which is exactly where I found myself blending in. Paris is one of those cities where you truly live on the streets. I really felt I had to immerse myself as a true Parisian, living as they do. Not in your apartment, but on the streets. And it was soon after my pond side nap that I felt the soul come back into my body. Honestly, I would so rather be shaking and half asleep in Paris. Like, <laughs> all I needed was some Cafe Kitsumi. <laughs> What happened was, I was half She's asleep. Like, let I, was me like, take a seat. I was like, let me take a seat let and nap, a nap on this bench. And Jasmine took a photo of it. And this guy thought it was so aesthetic of me like passing out on this bench. He was like, can I take photos of you? And so it turned into this whole photo shoot. And now I'm awake. It turns out I just needed to. And living our best something. life. Like yes, in our <laughs> element. So there's this famous steak and fruit restaurant and it's called like uh, Le Relais d'Entrecote and it has the longest line in the world. Like I have been here at a different location many times and it's always so good. I usually don't wait that long in line. Basically like they don't take any reservations. Like you have to come that day and it's like first come first serve. And there's always a line. Usually the line is like 30 minutes long. Let me just show you how long this line is. Like we have been waiting for almost an hour. My phone is dead. Like I. I'm just at like my end like my ADHD is popping off like I was almost making a dance routine in line Like I literally need a special handicap pass to like go in front because my ADHD just like can't take this like No, I am not normal. I literally have been making like dance routines in line. Oh Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, not me crashing into people. I was literally making like dance routines in line trying to like stall myself because my phone is dead and like I have so much ADHD I can't do lines. I need like a handicap pass for the front because I am just like not normal. But look at this. Okay, it starts here. Look at how far the line goes. It goes all the way to the end of the block and Jasmine and I are like right here. Oh my god. This is just madness. We have been waiting for so long. But the food will be so good and I'll be honest with you guys, like normally I love every bit of food that I have in Paris but this time I think I spent a lot of my time at like the cute Instagrammable places where like the photos look amazing but the food wasn't amazing. And so like, like especially the past few days, like I was kind of disappointed with the food that we ate so I really want a good meal as my last meal. Like, I will wait in this line for two hours if I have to. Like, I will do it. Like, I will power through all my ADHD. I will, like, square dance in line if I have to. Like, I will start, like, working out, like, doing high knees. Like, I don't know what I have to do. Where's Jasmine? Oh my god, there she is, literally on the floor. Promise <laughs> I. Oh my god. SOS. We need lunch a coat. haven't moved like I might as well like start moving my furniture here and just like get comfortable like I should just go get post-up chairs <laughs> I want 
I love your coat. I want steak. I want good steak, okay? Do I have to go crazy for it? I guess. I'm paying the price as well as paying the price of like the actual steak. They don't just make you like pay the price with money. They make you like pay the price with time as well. Okay, I went from dancing to counting how many tables there are. There's 30 tables and I'm trying to like count how many people there are in line to like see how long the line is going to take. Jasmine, I think we're only one round away. I counted, there's 30 tables and I think there's about 30 families in line. We should be here for like 40 minutes. Update the couple with champagne left as well. The family with the sorbet left. We're literally like stalking people in there. We're like, okay, they should be almost done. We're literally like being stalkers. The line's moving. We're slowly walking like zombies. And while steak in the mix, my clinical ADHD and the line around the block don't. I can say I morphed into a manic state. I had to make weird movements to let the energy flow. I really didn't know how to handle this. I got stares, but I simply don't care. There should be a special ADHD pass, but unfortunately many folks don't understand the true effect of a person handicapped with ADHD, just like me. Standing in line like this really gets me into a manic state. Here I am, approaching 9.28 p.m. after my swift arrival time of 7 p.m. Two hours and 28 minutes later, I think it's happening. I think it's really happening, guys. I can officially say I'm almost there. Here I am, as it's now approaching 9.28, two hours and 28 minutes after my arrival time. I've never felt that I've earned this so much. I'm so proud to say, Bon appetit. It's like a wonderland. Bye, Twinkly Eiffel Tower. I'm so sad to see you go. I'll be back for you in a month. Oh my god, guys, look at the trees are twinkling. Not just the Eiffel Tower. They're so cute. Oh my god, the whole street is really twinkling. The light show continues in the pharmacy. It's going off. I'm looking at different supplements. Like, these look so cool. Energy supplements. Look at how they look. Like, how cool is that? It hits me every time I cross the customs line. There's just something about Paris Orly Cat. I'm always crying in this terminal, but this time I'm not crying because they canceled my flight. I'm crying because I wish they did. After WikiHow diagnosed me with wanderlust, not wanderlust with an A, wanderlust with an O. It's a more serious condition. I tried to distract myself. I'll come back to France next month. You're just going home to regroup and bring fresh clothes. Go home to hug your family and bring them back with you. These were the thoughts raiding my mind. But at the same time, there's one intrusive one. I've tried to push it off, but it told me to take off. Start my life in France. Just me, my bags, and an intermediate understanding of the language. No visa at all, no French eSIM to call. They're just what my soul needs. And right as I thought, here I am, a runaway, here to stay, the escalator kept pushing me backwards. Although it's ideal to exit and run next to it, I realized it's also ideal for me to go back to my home country. But I will see you soon, France. Mid-December, Vlogmas. See you soon.